quick sit rep update 29.1 is upon us it is coming out next week april 10th for pc april 17th for console it's going to be bringing a number of different things panzerfaust nerf ak buff scar buff um destructible terrain i think on rondo only with a little shovel pickaxe item a bunch of new skins survivor pass a brand new progressive skin and some other changes and updates that I'll go over in some more detail later. So let's jump in and review them, shall we? All right, let's uh, head to the desktop. And thank you all for being here, by the way. I know a lot of you guys are in the Twitch stream right now. You already know the story. For those who are watching on YouTube, I've still been working night shifts. Tonight's my last night working night shifts. So we will be getting back to a normal-ish schedule. What the heck happened there? Uh, starting this weekend. So uploads will be more consistent. My edited videos, guides, tips, tricks, all that will be a little more consistent. So thank you all for uh, sticking by during this troubling time. Okay, number one, the elephant in the room. Shout out to Ochko Drive, by the way, uh, keeping the community updated with all these skin leaks and stuff. Here is the brand new progressive weapon. It is another AUG, another AUG. And can I just be really honest? My first immediate impression was what? They made a skin out of gambling, a casino. That was my first impression, is that this is a casino skin. I was wrong, though. I, I, I was wrong. It was pointed out to me uh, on Twitter that this is actually uh, supposed to mimic a pinball machine, which now that that was told to me, and I, and I actually looked at the skin, and I was like, oh, I, I actually like it more now, the theme of the skin. The, the, like the colors and stuff, this, this is not like my vibe of a skin and trust me, I already know you can, you can put your comment below. Uh, I already know a lot of you guys are like, see, this is so stupid. I get it. It's not military, but that's not the PUBG we play anymore. Right. That's like, we very rarely get skins like that. This is definitely more of the common theme, common meta. Uh, however, pinball, I believe is a very Westernized thing. I, I don't think this is an Asia inspired skin. So uh, whether you like it or not, we're getting another AUG, progressive AUG. It appears that it's going to have a chroma variant. That's this variant here, which just means a different color scheme. It's got some pink, some blue, uh, to whereas this one is like red, blue, and yellow. This one's like blue, pink, and purple, yellow. I don't know. Uh, so whether or not you like that is, you know, anyone's, anyone's opinion. Uh, then here's the death box, uh, some kind of um, the toy we have to like bang the hammer and it, it, the number goes up. Uh, that's going to be the uh, the death box. So uh, yeah, that's the progressive skin. Now there's a slew of other skins in this survivor pass. So let's go ahead and uh, and go over those now, shall we? So uh, let's go ahead and look at them. I have not looked at these myself yet. I have not gone through the whole list. So number one, we have a SLR, and this is a 17 gaming, uh, an esports themed SLR skin. A little orange, a little black, an animated player card here an animated uh let me move my screen it's just a smidge for y'all sorry an animated uh player card and then the slr skin um that doesn't look like it's my cup of tea personally maybe you might like it yourself i don't know uh this is interesting looking this looks like possibly a new skin in the workshop you know how the workshop has like the specialty skin section this might be one of those that require artisan tokens um, or, or maybe not. It might just be a purchasable thing. Uh, there is an, an always on red ghillie suit though. That's kind of interesting. And then this like uh, gas mask slash, what is this um, splinter cell type thing going on here? I actually like the, like the balaclava gas mask. I would love if I could have this red um, overcoat thing without having to have the under hoodie personally but okay so there's that then there is a female variant of that so yeah i think these are going to be the workshop skins and the artisan crafting token because there's a male female variant uh we have a new red hairstyle um the, the no bangs we got uh outfit like over tops uh bottom boots and then some new virtual eyewear. That's interesting looking. I kind of like that. It's cool. Uh, and some new face paint. And then uh, polar opposite. We got kitty, kit, kitty, kitty skin themed. 
uh some pink hoodies some jean overalls stockings fishnets the beanie the whole nine yards uh obviously very carnival themed i think that's the main theme of this update is uh carnivals uh let me click on this did he actually put what did he actually put um titles with them no okay <clears throat> uh so what's next this would be next here uh some more kitty themed uh items there for you if that tickles your fancy um more carnival themed stuff i uh, got a jersey glasses some sneakers and a vest thing with a bunch of jewelry uh, here is the actual survivor pass uh stock image here so you're gonna have the regular survivor pass and the premium survivor pass uh the cost of them i believe is 950 for the regular pass and 1100 for the premium but don't quote me on that i'm not 100 percent sure there is a new uh level two helmet this is going to be a very popular helmet i can tell um you probably have already seen the bunny helmet very uh, it's been popularized the level two bunny helmet with the ears now it looks like there's a dog helmet <clears throat> or maybe a cat helmet i don't know it looks like a dog helmet little uh shark attack parachute it's actually kind of a cool parachute i do like the buggy the, the buggy looks pretty neat very carnival themed uh then some animated emotes some weapon charms um weird dance thing going on there and the Ducati collaboration. So I'm actually looking forward to this personally. I'm a bit of a gearhead. You probably already know this. Um, my brother has owned uh, a couple of Ducatis and Triumphs. He still owns a couple of them. I used to ride them a good bit, not so much anymore. And I used to own a motorcycle myself. So uh, this is gonna be a really fun little collaboration that I wanna get involved in. And there's obviously all the clothing, right? The hoodie, the, the full leathers, the boots, the pants, all that kind of stuff. Then there's the white and red Ducati Corsa variant of all the colors. Really like the helmet. That's really cool. Gloves, shirts, etc., etc. Now these, you probably are familiar with them if you've played PUBG in the past six months to a year. These are going to be the uh, the workshop crafting caches, the loot caches that you will have to not have to, but that you can buy to give yourself more tokens. Uh, these Ducati tokens here is what you're actually going to use to purchase the Ducati skin. And I'll show you how that works um, in just a minute, okay? And here's the um, the actual color schemes for the Ducati. And I, my favorite for sure, right off the bat, that red, that black, those are freaking dope looking. Like my brother has an old, uh, what does he have, an old 898? Uh, like an old 898. Um, 675, um... Daytona 675. Um, then I've ridden their speed triple, like Triumph Speed and Treat tri Street Triple and Speed Triple. Uh, the Ducati Multistrada. Bunch of badass bikes that they got. So hopefully this sounds the part because it definitely looks the part. So that's going to be a fun skin to have uh, for me in PUBG. They got a cool little green, yellow, a pinkish. Well, I guess kind of two pinks. I don't know how you. What do you call that color? Uh, more loot caches. Oh, that's gonna be cool. Look at that. It's gonna be like a, um, an animated emote where you can wave the flag. Um, there's an animated nameplate or two animated nameplates. A little tenth. Oh, you're you're given a score. You're given a, a ten out of ten score, or you're given a zero score emote. Those would be cool. Uh oh, we got a new up skin, Phase Clan. Phase Up is getting a UMP skin. Look at this thing. So they're going to get an animated nameplate and a UMP. Looks like a, like a toxic paint or chemical kind of theme is what they're going for. Uh, so maybe if you've been looking for a brand new UMP skin, uh, that'll that'll be yours. Oh, look at that. Gen G is getting an M16. Uh, I really like that skin. A little white, a little gold, a little black. I like that. That's a cool looking skin. It is interesting the weapons they chose. So we have a UMP. We have an M16. What else? Oh, here's the progressive AUG. So here's the standard variant. And then here's the chroma uh, pink. And I guess the pink and purple is kind of the, the color uh, variant for the chroma. That'll be in the hideout contraband credit code sedum crate. 
which by the way if you aren't using creator code cdom please consider doing so it really does help support me anytime you buy anything in the store to use my code you just click on the link uh, in the top of the description or in the pinned comment of this video or if you're in live chat exclamation uh creator code uh we got some new sailor moon type skins um some sprays on the wall or tic-tac-toe winner winner chicken dinner an avocado with the booty um some gloves and a little ghosty boy all right what else some more weapons here we go m4 mark 12 scar hello i was i was gonna say they're they not gonna add a, a new scar skin with the upcoming buff uh m16 car 98 and the ace all are very carnival themed the m4 literally says pinball on it um the mini uh the mark 12 rather is a pinball like the, here's the pinball flying through the freaking thing the scar is similar uh m16 is similar these judging by the looks of them these are going to be in the hideout contraband crate which i'm not thrilled about um i could be wrong on that maybe they won't be they might be in the survivor pass or something but it, i kind of get the feeling that they will be there um w i a i don't know if that's a collaboration or or what but here's the new skin bundle bunny hat uh t-shirt and um skirt uh new hairdo a beanie with the hairdo uh top and bottom what's that say loneliness is safer oh that's depressing um a bunny balaclava some boots bottoms top okay what else uh those are the oh these might be part of a, a different like purchasable bundle because these have weapon skins too mini 14 and a dbs with a weapon charm um this might be a collaboration i don't know who wia is is that a, a group or something i don't know uh, but it looks like this will probably be in the PUBG store. If you're interested in these skins, you can probably purchase the whole bundle or they'll have, you know, just the weapons available if you'd like to purchase the pink, blue, and green uh, weapons. Uh, is that it? I think that's it. That's all I see that Ochko tweeted. That's 28.2. We already covered all that old stuff. Okay, I think that's it. So shout out to Ochko again. Thank you for sharing that with the community. You guys make sure to go follow him on uh, Twitter or X. Um, and then also the new items we talked about, like new new features, new changes. 29.1 is going to be bringing 21. Um, pickaxe, this guy. And this might be uh, materials. I, I don't know what this is representing here, Chad. I'll be, I'll be honest. I don't know if it's going to be an axe and materials that you need or or what. So I, I don't know the answer. The, I know th that in the video they showcased the character is using this pickaxe to dig a hole into the map. And if you've never seen that, I'll, I'll pull it up real quick. And so my, um, this is what the pickaxe will look like in game. This is like an early, you know, early dev tease that they showed, but you're just, you're hacking away at the ground and you're going to basically be able to create, you can see the ground kind of shifts down a little bit. You'll create your own cover, uh, is the idea with the new, um, destructible map environments what we do not know is a um like how long the process takes is that we're looking at an early build in this little clip here so this could be like super old stuff um so we don't know how long like the process takes we don't know if you're like gathering materials as you do it if you can use those materials for anything um we don't know if you can destruct like rocks and th those sorts of things but you can you know create holes with explosives, uh, grenades, RPGs, etc., or with this pickaxe item. Um, we, we also don't know if the pickaxe item is gonna be something you start with. Like, you know, they, they recently got rid of the utility belt. Is that because you're now gonna start with this pickaxe item? Or is it gonna be an item that you literally have to find, um, you know, as a spawnable item? I, who knows? It does appear that it's gonna be Rondo only for now which I, I'm personally, I'm not a fan of. Uh, I feel like if you're going to, you know, put a new thing into the game, it needs to be across all maps. Even if it's just tested, it needs to be tested on all maps. Cause otherwise 
um you know you you rarely will be able to test this new feature only when you play rondo and then you have to find the item um you know and to give feedback on it it would be best if we could all play with it frequently to give feedback on it so that's that uh new item and like i said the ak buff scar buff we don't know how they're going to get buffed we just know they're going to get buffed um panzer faust is going to get nerfed and the nerf is going to be um just da not damage though the the panzer faust nerf is going to be to the the pullout speed of the panzer faust this was explained during my uh the dev call that i had which i'll be doing another video breaking all that down soon now that work's getting back to normal but basically the way it is explained is that uh currently you know if you let's say you crash a building uh you can instantly pull out the panzer and shoot whoever uh, is in the building or vice versa whoever's in the building can quickly pull out the panzer and boom just instantly blast you away what they're going to do is apply a nerf to the the pullout speed of the of the panzer faust so that you won't be able to just quickly get it out aim it boom shoot and then you'd be done with it so i don't know if that's going to be enough of a nerf or what but um that will be what's coming um with the the panzer nerf what's up s1x what's up buddy what up kenny what up baba yaga what up zeph what up Ka prince Ka -ba 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 buddy? <clears throat> what's up guys um what else with um with update 29.1 that i that i missed to tell you we don't have patch notes yet so nothing like nothing that i'm saying is 100 percent confirmed right Every, they could have changed their game plan from what they said a few days ago um so we got destructible ground environments panzer faust nerve ducati collab ak scar buff new progressive skin so all that looks to be accurate oh the april fools mode um so there was the april fools teaser that PUBG put out you know on april fools talking about we're going home you know returning to to og or whatever and so there's a lot of rumors and hype about are we going back to og erangel and you know remember when i made that post a couple of days ago made the videos like this is april 1st there was never any discussion about PUBG going back to OG Erangel. It very well could have just been an April Fool's tweet, uh, which a lot of us would be like, well, that stinks because we were really looking forward to going back and playing OG Erangel, even if only temporarily for like a small mode. Having said that, it is still possible that with this update next week, they do release the April Fool's mode and it might end up being OG Erangel for a week or a couple weeks or whatever. Because PUBG typically does release a April Fool's mode. Um, that just hasn't ever been an OG Erangel. It's been like, you know, the Fantasy Royale or the zombie mode or, or whatever. Um, so what else? Oh, and one last thing before we, we wrap up is... Um, I'll go to the game. I'll show you here. So the new Ducati collaboration... Oh, by the way, Lamborghini will be will be later, right? So they're going to do separate collaborations. They're going to do Ducati first. They'll probably wait a couple months and do uh, and do Lamborghini. <clears throat> Whatever happened to the zipline gun? That's ne Zipline's never been confirmed. They were just talking about one of the things they were testing out in the roadmap dev letter. Um, so we don't know if that ever actually will come to the game or or not. That's still just kind of a, you know, a thing that we're, we're trying, we're testing. In the workshop, by the way, you all have four or three days left to spend your tokens. So don't let your tokens expire. Buy anything in the store because otherwise they will expire, okay? This is for the um, the progressive specialty crafting thing. With this new pass coming up, the Ducati pass, it will be in the workshop. So you will have a very similar situation where you're going to have all the Ducati skins here available. You'll probably have uh, paint schemes available. I don't know if they're going to have like wheels and stuff available to customize, but they'll be available here to buy. You're going to need these tokens. They'll be called like Ducati tokens or whatever. And um, you'll earn tokens just by playing the pass. Whatever the new pass is going to be, you know, you can earn tokens uh, by playing that, but you will have the option to buy more tokens if you want all the skins or, or whatever. Uh, and of course, when that pass comes out, I'll do a full breakdown of the cost, how many tokens you get, how much you have to play to get the tokens. And, you know, I'll keep you guys up to date on that. So obviously make sure you're subscribed to the channel to get notified for those videos. And um, I think that is about it. Hideout system will be updated shortly. You only have four days left to get the progressive M24. So don't, you know, don't miss out. If you've been wanting that, that gun, um, there's a chance 
that this gun comes back, of course. Um, they've done that a number of times now. But, you know, if four days is the current last chance you can get, and they still have the open 10 at a time discounted to 1400 G coin, where it used to be 1800 G coin. Is that a better value? Yes. Is it worth it? I, I would tell you, no, it's gambling, you know? So uh, if you're okay with gambling some money for the chance to get a cool skin, sure. But just, you got to remember that guys, it's gambling. The whole wor wor hideout system is gambling. Workshop, I would say not so much because you get a lot more for your money. Um, the hideout system, you guys know where I stand on that. If you're going to be a dumb dumb, use creator code CDOM. Help, help support me anytime you buy something in the store. You can do that by going to the store, clicking creator appreciation program down here. So to bring you to PUBG, uh, log in, um, connect your accounts, and then use code CDOM. If you're on console, you won't have this button. You'll have to actually go to the website, which will be in the uh, description of this video or the pinned comment as well. And that does really help support me and all the content that I make for you guys. So I appreciate you doing that. Uh, any last bit of questions before we, we wrap it up here, guys? What's up, Mason? What's up, Bat? <clears throat> they had never brought back Bolties, not the K9 or the Unicorn M24. They never brought back. Oh, oh, gotcha. You mean like the older progressive skins? Yeah, I gotcha. That's true. Yeah, there are some that haven't ever come back out. Mini 14 is one. You know, the Halloween or um, holiday Mini 14. Black Market was already announced. Yeah, so they they had a lot of success with the Black Market skins, guys. I mean, I was definitely one of the people who bought a lot of G coin for that. I know a lot of my community also bought G coin. So if they make money on it, you better believe it's going to come back in some shape or fashion. So. Uh, yeah, the black market will come back. The black market is where they re-release old progressive skins, but there's no telling which progressive skins they're going to re-release. I was having to get 25,000 to get 10 tokens. 500 every level from 90 makes it impossible to get extra tokens. Well, I had enough um, once I got to level, what, 75 to unlock one of the progressive skins. Personally. Hello? What's up, Chance? Pumpkin M4 is one of my favorites. Yeah, I agree. That's one of my favorites as well. Which is kind of unfortunate um, that I didn't get the new M4 because I wanted to complete this um, this uh, little thing. This. All I need is the new M4, which actually, let me see. There is a chance that I could get it just by opening these crates, but it's so unlikely. But I might as well. Alexa, next. It's possible. It's unlikely, but it's possible. And I have 167 tokens left. Open these bad boys up. Uh, I got a bonus loot cache. Bunny Express delivery set. I don't think I have that skin. Uh, negative. So we um, did not get <clears throat> um, the M4. We have 167 tokens left. What are we going to buy? Probably just some keys, to be honest. Buy a couple, a couple extra keys here. Cedum, do you think they're planning to bring back old esports PUBG skins to the shop at some point? No. Um, and I say that because the same reason I gave that PUBG is not going to bring bring back old collaboration skins. So like uh, a lot of players like myself would love to get a chance to buy the dock skins or the shroud skins, because when I played on console, we, we didn't you weren't given the chance to buy streamer skins on console and I, and I started on console. By the time I came to PC, those skins were gone. Same thing with like the Wacky Jacky VSS skin. So the reason why those will never ever return is because PUBG would have to 
pay um, a new contract to those content creators or in your question to the eSport teams to re-release the old skins. And that's just very, 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 very unlikely. Yeah, I agree, 49er. That was weird, having the Jeep logo there. Maybe it's a collaboration they're working on and they're just saving it for a different release, you know? Or maybe it's something that they plan to do and then, like, negotiations fell fell through. Like, you know, it, all kinds of stuff can happen, dude. What's up, Camaro? How you doing, buddy? No, Zeph, that's not bad at all, dude. That's, that's actually really good for the basic pass. Not getting the level ups and you're still there. Yeah, like all the Halley skins, like all any of the old streamer collaborations that you those won't won't return. What's up, Mike? Yeah, we just reviewed all of them, buddy. We got the uh, M16 SLR and the UMP. What's up, Vince? My prime parcel. I got the very awesome parachute. Oh, nice. Hope that's what you wanted. Hey, hey, caught the end of the match. You came second. That was unlucky, Steve. Don't remind me. Self AED for the win, baby. 65 and no level up is grinded, man. <laughs> Yo, Camaro, thanks, buddy. Paul's my, my boy, man. The editing king for all my freaking videos, or all my gameplay videos, I should say. What's up, buff? C Dome win? C, C Dome skin win? <laughs> Bro, I would love to be able to like to tell you guys, hey, well, I'm cooking up something good. There's zero discussions right now. Um, trust me, it's something I would love to do. I would love to have a discussion with PUBG and them to be like, yeah, look, we, we would, we'd we'd be interested in in entertaining a C-Dome skin. What would you like to do? She, trust me, I'd love it. Surprise, motherfucker. I would love it, man. One day, I'm hopeful, one day. Yo, Camaro, dude, thank you so much, man. The follow and the brand new tier one out of your mind thank you man i appreciate it buddy enjoy your emotes and your ad free grouching experience the only thing you're cooking is nades ha <laughs> mg3 i've told y'all i don't how many times i told y'all but if the chance is ever given to me if see uh, see them if puppies like see them um look you can have a skin you're the first streamer we're gonna let choose whatever gun they want that's obviously never happened before so they won't do it to me but i'm just saying any gun you want mg3 no question the mg3 is my would be my skin no question pubg2 would make a killing if they somehow got shroud doc and summit to come back and play and also release new old skins oh you mean like uh money wise yeah i don't i don't know man i listen you gotta you gotta remember like doc shroud some they all still dabble in PUBG very occasionally mind you very occasionally but they already organically dabble back into the game in PUBG 1 if PUBG 2 ever came out you know that they're going to dabble back into the game regardless like they're going to want to come play PUBG 2 just to at least see if you know what it's like so if PUBG did a collaboration with them, that means that PUBG's entering a paid contract with the streamers. Those are some of the biggest streamers out there. So they're going to um, require a large amount of funds just to pay them to come and play your game that they otherwise would probably play anyway. And then the re-release and the skins, yes, uh, PUBG would, you know, would make money for sure on, on the skins. But then again, they have to pay the streamers um, you know, their portion of all that for the skins. And so it's just, it, it's a lot more than just like clicking a button. Oh, look, the skin's back out and we'll just send a percentage to doc. No, it's like a whole contract. How long is the skin going to be out for? How many hours does doc have to play it each week? How much is that? Like, what's his hourly weight? You know, like there's all kinds of stuff there. So I don't something is that it's that simple. If they said gloves or mini 14, what are you choosing? Well, first of all, I would tell them to put some respect on my name and I, I want both gloves and a mini 14 um but if it was like a you know gun gun to your head see them um you have to choose one or the other i would <laughs> i would probably do um 
I probably did the gloves. <laughs> I did the gloves. No, nah, I don't know. I'd probably do the mini 14. I don't know, man. I think like I could get way more creative with the mini 14, you know? The, the mini 14 could look like C-Dome. Gloves is like, there's only so much you can do, you know? 